received the goal. There's nothing to beat a win at Wembley. Black, who's going to go for it? Black for the one point to win the grand final. Hello, welcome to another live stream of Talking the Facts of Live Crowd. Who's on to buy Eclipse Energy? Eclipse Energy! <laughs> and delivery! Delivery! <laughs> well, I have to, to say this man's being ill, is it? It's it, 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 uh, Yes, sorry we're late, but uh, you'll find out in due course why we were late. Um, but yeah, hey, well, it's a live stream. We're here now, it's all good. Um, my name is Mike Egg, as always, and this larger than life loud mofo is Mr. Rick Farrell. Um I would ask how you're doing, but I think it's, uh, I think it's obvious how how you're doing. Um, he's he's uh, he's, he's gone stripping on medication, is this guy? <laughs> um, but yes, we are a very good move because we are in semi-final football, baby. Um, beat Whitehaven, never in doubt. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those, but yes, um, we are in the semi final against Featherstone. We'll dissect the White Haven game. Look forward to the big match against Fed. Um, hopefully, I won't piss off any Halifax players this time. Um, <laughs> but before any further ado, let's get straight into it, shall we? Um, <clears throat> so. Um, get your comments in, get liking the video, get liking, like and subscribe, share and all that sort of jazz. Uh, what are you guys thoughts? Did, did you? Can you hear us? Yes. Can you Mike hear me now? to. Because it's enterprise to so my crew run through. Um, yeah. What do you think of the White Haven game? Do you think it was uh, a good performance? Do you think we deserve the victory? What are your thoughts on Featherson this coming weekend? Um, we might even talk about some of the rumours that are going around in terms of all the players and that, but we'll, we'll get to that in due course. Um, I'll kick off first of all. I thought it was a great performance against Whitehaven. Um, the the scoreline flattered them massively, I thought. 24-20 was... Uh, um, flat them massively I think we worked really hard for our tries and, and, and we constructed them really well um, at least 10 of their points came from bizarre bizarre instances bizarre knock-ons ball spills all that sort of jazz um, but yeah I thought we did really well um, first player I want to mention for that is, is Liam Harris I thought he was absolutely outstanding Scott Gritt's got a man of the match I think quite a lot for for sentimental purposes and that sort of thing, but he still had a really good game. Did did did, did it's got a great spot. I thought Liam Harris. He's, he just shows how much we've missed him and, and why you sometimes need that that off the cuff um, kind of player to in those sort of situations. Um, I thought I thought it was a good team performance. Really, there, there, there were no one who really necessarily performed under par. Uh, I thought Con Robinson's penalty kick was a fantastic, and it was the best penalty kick I've ever seen in my life. Ah, flicker. <laughs> um, yeah, it was. It was. It was. It was. A, it was a great performance, and even better the performance was the atmosphere. I thought the atmosphere was absolutely fantastic. Um, I think there might have been only like twelve hundred people or something there or whatever. I'm not too sure, but um, it sounded like there were, there were twelve thousand people at times. Um, really good to see the atmosphere there. Um, let us know what you thought. Were you? Were you um, were you there? Um, are you going to Featherstone on on Saturday night with the the the, the delivery? Delivery we mentioned our sponsor, delivery. Uh, um, uh, uh, laying on, well, I'll help him lay on some coaches to get uh, over there. Um, so there's a big army of blue and white fans behind the stand. Um, so yeah, abs- absolutely brilliant, Rick. I've been we'll waffling on for far too long. Um, what, what what were your thoughts on Saturday? Well, night? I agree with a lot of what you said, especially about Harris. You know, he had an instant impact, didn't he, when he came on? Um, set up the first try pretty much with our first proper attack. So. That was good to see. Um, yeah, big shout out for Matt Garside as well. Probably two two of his best games in a row in a fat shirt really helped us along. I thought everyone, like you said, mucked in. Really good shift. No one, no one uh, wanted to let the mate down. I agree as well. I thought everyone were lucky to get anywhere near us. We always knew they were going to come back. And I think Grixie said it if you watch the interviews online, which is the reason why we're late tonight. Apologies for that. But, uh, you know, he sort of concurred that we might have put the queue on the rack a bit too early and yeah, that might have been the case. But the game were won by half time. I mean, the fact that they had these tries, they were scruffy, they were ball squirting out. The the one where they went to the screen, it still got given. I cannot believe, like, if that's a try, I don't understand the rules of rugby league anymore. Ball comes out, goes forward, he puts his hand down the line, it's given. But 
lucky tries. We scored good tries. Yeah. You know, they they ran the forwards, blood to water, where they dominated us in Cumbria <laughs> and we yeah. smashed that air to bits every time yes, we touched the ball. Yeah. They were a different feel and we totally deserved to win that game and no one can say otherwise, in my opinion. No, here, here, I completely agree. That, that was one of the most pleasing <coughs> factors that I thought that up in Cumbria, our forwards got absolutely battered off the park and um, it's, it's one thing that we've done this season. We've learned from our defeats, really, and, and, and we, 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 we've identified um, areas that we needed to improve and to beat these teams and... Probably a good advantage of only playing um, Whitehaven a couple of, a couple of weeks after after it up there. Um, we got really stuck in, and that that air or air whatever it's called, um, like Papua New Guinea, and he was an absolute cannonball up up there. He was he was so effective and destructive. We did a job on him massively, and you can tell by him wearing that um, the head strap round. Um, but yeah, um, I, I, we just did so well, and they uh, say we, 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 it was a good morale boosting win. Um, but for both the fans and the players as well, as I said before, the atmosphere was great inside and outside the ground before the game as well with the the, the, the stuff that were put on there. Um, but yeah, really, really good to see. Um, fair, fair play to Aven though as a club as well. You know they showed out. They, <coughs> They were sort of riding a crest of a wave and we managed to stop that, whereas, you know, momentum's massive in sport. We could have easily um, let them get on top of us. And I, I was saying to the guys in the press box, like, the, the first thing we had to do with their crowd, their crowd had been in, on pissing spoons since <laughs> 10 o'clock in the morning. They were going to be loud and proud and we, we shut them up early and we kept them shut up for a long time. So by the time they started getting into it, they were they were pretty much exhausted by it. So, But fair play to them as a club. They, they came, they... Played the game in the spirit it were intended. They they represented the club really well, and you know they they congratulated us at full time, which is in the spirit of sportsmanship. It might be a bit different if we go and win on Saturday, but we'll come to that in a little bit, I'm sure. But uh, solid win, delighted with it, and like I say, I'll give a big shout out to the fans as well. They were outstanding and from from minute one to minute eighty, really. Yeah, no, good, and as I say, it's good showcase on the sky cameras as well we'll be on the sky cameras again this Saturday as well and a good, a good showcase of championship um, rugby league after the, the game before where Brad, Bradford get battered everywhere they go um, but yeah it was it, it was really really pleasing victory um, is there any other player that, that you want to champion other than like Garside and, and Harrison oh, you, you said Griggs didn't deserve man of the match I thought you know he had, he had quite a lot of telling factors he kicked the 40-20 that oh, set did, up yeah. in the position for the first try he then put the pass out for Worthington to go through and put Woody over um, could have had a few more but for a bounce of a ball here and there you know we could have been out of sight so I thought Grixie were outstanding I thought um, what do you call him um <laughs> why you're, why, why you're thinking of that? Why are thinking of that? The reason why I thought that Liam Harris over Scott Griggs was man of the match is simply because he didn't play up in Cumbria. He was a, he was a difference between the two teams. It was a big factor of us. Obviously, the forwards stepped up and did a job on their pack, and that's absolutely brilliant. But Liam Harris, like you mentioned before, he constructed the try really well. He, he, he found McGrath with, with that pass yeah. uh, over there. He just looked dangerous every time he got the ball. Um, and and that, that's, that, he was the match winner. Scott Griggs, you, just, you know what he's going to get every time he goes on the field. He's, 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 he's consistent, he's professional, and he can come up with the, those 40 20 plays like he should. But yeah. Harris was just that little extra bit of class that we've been missing for Absolutely. a few weeks now. Um, the one that I was thinking of, Conor McGrath, I thought played yeah, yeah. out of his skin. Um, taking, they tested him all, all night with those high balls, cross field kicks, and he came down with every single one of them. Not just came down with them, but then launched the counter attack as yeah, well. Yeah, he know? did, yeah. So, I thought he had a solid game. Greg Worthington, again, he might not be getting these tries that everyone's crying out mm. for, but he is having a, a telling contribution in defence. Going forward, yeah. he's strong carrying the ball. I thought he was great again. Um, I'll tell you one thing that I thought was poor form, though. I was champion, championing uh, Whitehaven as a club that, um, obviously, Scott Griggs' last game at the Shea, mm. with the grand final being held elsewhere, if we do make it there. They gave him uh, a guard of honour. Did the fax boys come in onto the yeah. pitch? Whitehaven didn't participate in that, which no. when we went to Cumbria, we did it for Jesse Joe Parker. Mm. Um, showed him respect. And yeah, you could say, oh, it's a playoff game and you don't want to show him respect. Nah. But poor form for me. Like, we've yeah. done it for you two or three weeks earlier and you don't do that. So that, that really got my back up. So when we won, I was 
you know, I was really glad. I felt really vindic- vindicated about that. Really. Maybe the player saw that and thought, well, do you know what? If you're not going to respect our guys and we're not going to respect so, you and went out and gave the even more fire in the belly for that. Well, they definitely didn't respect their forwards. They were bagging them no. left, right and centre, weren't they? So, uh, yeah, you are for sure, but, yeah. What do you guys think? Get your comments in, like like and uh, share and everything. Uh, let's get these numbers boosted and uh, have a good, big chat because once we've finished Whitehaven, it's semi-final rugby and nothing else. Exactly, exactly. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's let's have a look here. So, um, Stephen Rubbishaw, welcome back, boys. Oh, uh, Jane Fair- Fairbank thought it was a great game. She actually feels more confident this Saturday. I agree, there, Jane. I say we, we we chatted a little bit before before we came on and stuff. And Rick kind of said, "Do you think we'll do it this week?" And I said, and I, and I said, "I feel better this week. I feel the the the, the more this week's going on, especially after Saturday's game, the more confident I do." I still think we'll lose because Featherston at home is such a big one for them. But we are the underdogs and we are the under Panthers, if you will. If you will. Um, and there's there's no better time for an IFAX team to perform than being an underdog. Feather have got everything to lose. Everything's all on them. Sky will ham them up massively like BBC did for Bradford when we beat them in the Cup semi-final quarterfinal um, it's it's all on them will they be able to handle the pressure don't know um, they, and what's comforting me is that in the 1995 cup final when York took the game to, and threw the ball about by um, by Michael Lewis who's starring in Super League by the way um, they, 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 they wobbled they wobbled and it was only the class of Craig Hall and John Davis that got them over the line if we keep Craig Hall quiet that is a big contribution obviously he won the championship player of the year award last night um, but it is they, they have got a class team we've just got to play to our we've got to play to our strengths we've got to play um We've got to play to it to our potential, and we've just got to leave nothing out on on the pitch. We've just got to think, right? This is the last game of the season. We need to put everything out there, and who knows? We could come up with a famous victory. Just, it's all about ball control. If you look at the weather forecast, I'm sure, like I say, we're going to preview it. We'll get into more comments again in a second, but it's got to be ball control in the in these big games. It's all about kicking long, tackling hard, forcing an error out of the other team, and they'll be looking to do the same thing. So yeah, that, it's just ball control. Which I thought we we did really well on Saturday, yeah. as opposed to the last few weeks. And I can, I kind of said on on the podcast last week that I think we, 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 you would see a different team in in playoffs. The job's been done. We finished. We're in the playoffs. What, whether it's third or sixth, it doesn't necessarily matter. If you turn up for the playoffs and you play your ass off, then. That's that's all that matters really. It's 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 form goes out the window. Home advantage matters less because it's it's knockout rugby. It's it's just fantastic and um, two really good games that are on the weekend, backed up by with really good viewing figures. If you've seen um, the post on social media yeah. last couple of days, uh, hopefully that that rings true on Saturday night there as well. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm just really really looking forward to. Um, Another really good showcase of, of rugby league. Uh, hopefully, Batley run run to lose close in 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 France. Oh, I don't um, give a shit about that. Result. No <laughs> offense, it's all about the facts. Yeah, mate. Oh, no, true, Sod yeah, that. true, yeah, no, true. But and, and you get to the grand final. Don't matter who you face there, you're there. No, that's a but what? But what, what I'm thinking is you might keep the casual fan. Like I say, if, if you get someone who's new to the sport who's just flicking through channels and sees Toulouse putting eighty on battle, they're not wanting to going to stay on and watch Halifax v Fev, are they? But I'm not we'll bothered see. about. I'm not. But no offense, but I'm not bothered about anyone watching it on telly. If you're not there on Saturday for any other <laughs> yeah. reason than you're in hospital or you're working <laughs> and you can't get out of it, not interested. Yeah, if get it, to the game. Six you, uh, pound return on the coach trip is. Yeah. A ridiculous. I mean, it costs more than that to get a taxi to town for me. Yeah, you know, yep, so. very much. Anyway, let's stop my griping. Let's get back into these you're, comments. You're, 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 you're revealing the, the location of our podcast. It's in internet land. Six pound for a taxi from internet land in the secret bunker. It's <laughs> a cloud taxi. It's a fluffy <laughs> cloud. Magic carpet <laughs> ride. Cheaper. Yeah. Less, you don't have to pay road tax. So. <laughs> right, let's get into it now. Um, Anthony Hildred. Thank you very much. Join us again. Man's dot dying this weekend. I've, no idea. Uh, uh, yeah, your guess is as good as mine. Uh, Sean Yule, um, thanks for joining us, Sean. Uh, awesome game. Need to learn to control game when Bobby and Ads come off. Harris Awesome took us through our nine unbeaten and picked the results up when he came back into the team. Yeah, Absolutely. No coincidence. no coincidence whatsoever. And as like I said before, 
he, he was the difference between the two teams because if Lee Maris plays but Whitehaven, I wouldn't necessarily say we won the game, but I think we got a bit closer because I said I said on the podcast um that we just we needed Liam Harris to break through in, in, in the team because their defence had clued up on us. But um, hopefully, big game, another big game. He, he comes to the fore and the cream always rises to the top. The the, the class shows out at the end of the season. Liam Harris may well do it for us on um, on Saturday night. And Jane Fairbank agrees. Harris with the difference. Uh, fabulous atmosphere. Can't wait for Saturday. Me too, Jane. I cannot wait. I just need to buy some more Jatemans and we'll be good to go. Um, and Sildred. He's got a song for you again. Yes. You're going to sing it. More fingers and teeth. More fingers and teeth. Fevrovas. More fingers and teeth. He can't wait. He can't do it. You've been listening to William Shatner's album. Is that like <laughs> the, the least tuneful <laughs> song I've ever heard? You could have at least yeah. give it some I well. I, I want to live like common people. Um, Peter Wood. That's joins yeah, again, Pete. Uh, Tom Grant was video ref. That's why that shit try was allowed. Yeah, uh, we're not, not going to bag refs because uh, they could take the bat and ball home and we have no game. So let's. Let's not bag the refs, yeah. even though I already did. <laughs> uh, yes, rewind. Riggers, I thought McGrath had his best game. Yep, totally agree, mate. Mm, I, 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 I thought it was probably better the week before um, in, a, in a losing side. But yeah, he took his try very well. Um, he's, he's having Solid a real... Yeah, arm. yeah. He's, he's, I, just, I hope he, uh, he, his, his employers are watching and just thinks, right, well, not, we won't give you that promotion so you can carry on playing rugby league and we will reward him with a salary there. But uh, fair play to him. He's looking after number one. Uh, it's a short career. Um, life's life's short. If he's getting better money, then fair play to him. But he's going to be a big miss for us the way he's been playing the last couple of weeks. Um, Ian Waterhouse, thank you very much um, for joining us. Looking forward to the million pound game at the Shea Kids Battle. <laughs> Don't put your house on it, mate. What, what, from what we're be, we're hearing, it's going to be a neutral venue. So yeah, keep your eyes peeled for that announcement, yeah, which will no doubt come. Six days before everyone's expected to rearrange all the plans. Be exactly, free, so. yeah, yeah. Uh, and wh- wh- whatever you've been sniffing, I want some of that too. Uh, see, see Romshaw again. More, more rain for facts in our favour. 24 26. Well, <laughs> if the rain does fall. Um, then yeah, we've just got to be real disciplined with with, with our kicking game. Craig Gall's got a great kicking game. Dan Chisholm's got a great kicking game. We, we've got to nullify their their attack there really. Um, but we've got Connor Robinson on the pitch. He's got a great kicking. Game. Liam Harris's short kicking game is fantastic. We saw on Saturday night Scott Gritz can have a forty twenty in him. We've just got to be squeaky clean with the ball and and just be sensible with it. We don't have to score off every set. Play the percentages. Kick, possibly kick early if we're going down the hill, trap him down there. It's gonna be it's gonna be an intriguing chess match for sure. Um, and Sean, you all agrees. Rain could be levelled. Hopefully, Hall's boots get stuck in the mud here. Yeah, well, he's he's got dancing feet. He's he's brilliant. He's great goal. Problem at Fev though is a bit of a slope there, isn't there? So all the yeah. water drains away. <laughs> yeah, true. Very much. As long as it's not foggy, we'll be all right. Yeah. Um, Jonathan Smith, there thanks for joining us, Jonathan. Um, I think Fox should move move heaven and earth to keep McGrath. Imagine wings covered by red foxes. Yeah. <laughs> There's a fox and chicken joke in there somewhere. <laughs> there is. Uh, from what I understand, it's a personal move from McGrath. He just can't keep up with the schedule of being a championship player with his work and. Dropping down the leagues suits him a bit more. So I, I don't think he wants to leave. I just think it's a case of financially it makes sense. Yeah, young lad. He's obviously got a really good opportunity to make quite a bit of money in the in, in the in the industry that he's in. And fair play to him. As I say, anyone who if if uh, what I say to people in this aspect is, if if you worked for Tes- if you work for Tesco's. And, and and it's not like in, in, in this scenario, but if you work for Tesco's and Sainsbury's came in and offered you twice as much money to do the same job, you'd go for it, wouldn't you? If you work for Tesco's and, I don't know, let's say Apple offered you a load of money to, to, to change career and, 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 and triple your salary or whatever, you'd take it, wouldn't you? So it's it's one of these. It's, you only live once. You've got to look after yourself sometimes. It's a shame that we're not awash with money. We're not full-time and anything like that, but... It's one of those. Hopefully, whatever he does in, in his future, he's very, very successful at. Um, Peter Wood, um, again, in order to beat Fevy, it has to be a 10 out of 10 individually, 10 out of 10 collectively. Yep, definitely. The, the, the collective is better than the individual, but I completely agree with you there. Um, we've got Liam Harris there, who's who's a, an individual spark. He's, he can he can make a play out of nothing, and hopefully he, 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 he can do exactly the same on, on Saturday night there as well. Um, Until we're back again, they will just play the way I said last time. Big players turn down the middle platform of play, left to right, pass out wide and score. That's basically Fev this season. That's practically rugby league you've 
just described there, Anthony, what a lot of rugby league things do. And it's a lot, a lot of fans say, oh, that's boring. It's effective. It is effective. We were spoiled for years having Matt Callan rugby and all that sort of stuff. But sometimes it just needs a little bit of common sense and slow it down. Um, simplify it and that's what we did quite well on Saturday I thought I think when we when we needed to we, we sped the game up we, we threw the ball about but when we needed to as well we just stuck it up as jumper and just made the yards and, and, and kicked well so hopefully we do the same on Saturday night as well um, Ian Waterhouse again the two championship games were far better than the Super League games last week um, yeah com- I completely agree although I did enjoy Hull KR spanking Warrington I must admit they have been all year to be fair and yeah. to most people that follow the championship they've been far better than Super League for, for quite a few years so it's not a surprise to anyone that follows it it's just a case of these Super League fans that don't watch it week in week out when they see a decent game they're like bloody hell why don't they put more of this on the telly <laughs> yeah yeah. Because they'd rather have us watching Salford versus Wakefield, Wakefield, you know. Yeah, yeah, very, very true. Um, speaking of a tenuous link for Wakefield, Chris Chester left Wakefield. He's now being announced as the director of rugby over at Lee, who will be seen next year. So that's an interesting appointment. Again, nobody cares. It's semi-final week. It's all <laughs> about the facts. <laughs> it's all about tenuous links and memes. This is a Halifax <laughs> podcast with just a hint of we don't give a shit about anything else this week. <laughs> next week, you talk about whatever you like. You've got a whole off-season to talk about that crap. <laughs> Right, I've been told. Um, <laughs> uh, Anthony Eldred, uh, he was poorly over the week. Hope you're okay. Mm-hmm. The Chesney Mister and Colby like a, a zombie. Well, that's yeah. what that's what Welcome Ricardo's Welcome to my world, mate. That's what she like. Tina, Everywhere. Tina Dawn Driver, up the Panthers, up the Fax Panthers up for sure. Up the Fax Panthers, hope you're enjoying your holiday. Yep. Um, Sean Newell as well. Good to McGrath is retiring. Championed him since his debut. Yeah, yeah he's, been, he's been a really good player. And we've, we've always said on this podcast that given a run of games, he'd be a really good player. He's just not had that look, really. He's not had that run of games to get himself established until now, ironically, when he said he's leaving, yeah, he's leaving the club. It's always the case, isn't it? I mean, for a, for a young lad, a young winger to score a hat trick on debut, it's all, the only way is up and the fact that it came through our system as well means a lot more but like like I said earlier it's just a case of it don't fit in with his financial and work schedule so he's made a decision and fair play for it you know he could have it could have been like oh, I'll try and make it work for another season and miss training and end up not getting picked and putting himself out so fair play to the lad but yeah I agree I'm gutted he's leaving but it makes a space for somebody else to come in and fill that position. And with the signings we made this year and the signings that have been rumoured to be made for next year, we're only getting better, aren't we? So mm-hmm. long may it continue. Yep, true. Hey, you stop nicking my sayings. You're trying to nick my sayings this week. A podcast with a hint of that sort of stuff. And I'll tell you, what? Anthony will just come back with a good point. There's rugby on now. So we're going to keep this podcast shorter than we normally yeah. would anyway because we want to get watching it better. Exactly, you know? yeah. But again, it's... it's it's we 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 know, we know what's been going on this week there, um, but yeah, um, yeah. Uh, due to calls for Rick anyway, um, <laughs> we will we will get into that. But uh, yeah, we'll 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 do a shortened podcast this week because there's rugby on, and uh, I'm sure I'm sure we uh, I'm sure you all want to watch that there. Um, let's get into the comments as well. Peter Woods said, "Any news on Woodburn Hall injury? Um, we don't know. No idea. Hopefully, it's okay." Um, he should be good to go on, on Saturday we would hope um, he didn't look good anyway um, ironically it's one of those things you always see like really innocuous injuries especially when you're going in for a try there he made a difference didn't he he scored the try which effectively put us through but hopefully he's okay and it's just a precaution that he got subbed so um, we'll see him this this weekend there um, there's a crowd in, 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 in France tonight well um, there is um, oh, how big's a crowd we don't know we're not watching the game at the moment but one thing for sure we definitely need a big crowd on Saturday night so um, anyone who you know if they don't know about the offer delivery our lovely sponsors uh, have managed to come with a uh, subsidise the travel over to Federson so it's £6 um, over there um, takes you there and back gets you there it's, it's fantastic work that the, that the boys have done Um to get everyone over there, it takes a lot of the um, the um and ahhing about. Oh, do we drive to Fev? Do we go on the train or whatever? Get out there, get 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 the club rung up to put your tickets on there. Tell your friends, tell your family, um, get down there, be the blue and white army behind the post, and let's get in, in into those lads there. Um, Jane Fairmont says it's a sellout in France. Wow, um, it's their biggest game for years, isn't it? Big, their biggest game for years. So hopefully it does. Um, <laughs> It, they, they do do well there. Um, 
And I said, listen, maybe the French need to go up, go up, get the game out them more. Absolutely. As I say, we've seen this podcast before that um, Toulouse should have really gone up when Lee went up and it'll be a massive derby for them there. Um, what have I missed? <laughs> uh, not much real. I've just waffling about James Woodburn Hall's um, uh, injury. Oh, I've just, that, yeah. that was Simon Grix on phone. I could have asked him. <laughs> we, should, we could have got Grixie on the podcast live. <laughs> I'm sure he'd, he'd have loved that. Well, Although saying that with the reception that he had, I wouldn't have uh, backed him to be on for long anyway. So. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, I was saying that um, hopefully we'll burn all's back on Saturday. It's just always the case, and you get these in- innocuous injuries. Do, uh, well, you're not necessarily doing much, but oh, if you go, if you're scoring a try as well, yeah. like like you are, I, don't, I, I, I quite like. Well, I don't want to laugh at anyone's misfortune, but he scored the try, went to get up and celebrate. He like went, ooh, ah, <laughs> you know, tell players get off me, get off me. Yeah. Um, all his mates were tagging him in it, going, "You're soft cock." Really, <laughs> you do all that work to get <laughs> Lenford Field and score, and then you <laughs> damage yourself on that. But, <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Um, well, the squad will be out tomorrow anyway, so we'll, we'll see what's what's announced. Yep. Um, Gary Bray, nice to join yes. us again. Another big push Saturday. We can do this. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely. Like I was saying as well, a bit of a rally, rally cry. Delivery have put on so, some coaches. Tell your friends, get on there. Six quid. Six quid Six to get, quid. A, get a feather back. It eliminates... Less the, than two pints. Yeah. It elim- eliminates the doubt of, oh, do we drive over there? Should we get the train? Who's going? Can I catch a lift or whatever? Get on the coach, get the atmosphere going as as soon as we leave Halifax. Get there. Let's start the party now. Let's 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 be positive about this this thing um, yeah. this week. Um, yeah, just to kind of go on the comments, are saying that, that it'd be great for the game. Apparently, it's a sellout over in <coughs> Catalan. It's a full house. Yeah, absolutely. I've um, seen that. It's yeah, really good news for the French game, isn't it? Yeah. So, so as a, but uh, again, what did I what, what did I say? It's here? about the fact we don't care about news. anybody else. I am. I am. That isn't going to Featherstone this week. I am uh, responding I to the comment to your comment. E- exactly what you do. Always say, get your comments in or whatever. I'm just doing that. If they were talking about chess, we'd have to go about chess. <laughs> but no, <laughs> we're not doing that there. Uh, Linda Kitson. Hi guys, hello Linda, thanks for joining us again. Um, hopefully all going on, on Saturday there as well. Um, yeah, as I say, hopefully, like, because the last time I went over in the league game, it was a bit of a, a poor turnout for, from us for, for various, various reasons. Um, hopefully all that has gone. Get, get, get yourself booked on the coach. It's a semi-final. It's semi-final and we can really stick it to Fev. We can stick it to everyone who's written us off this year. Uh, and more importantly, all those people who thought that our season was overcome um, March, April this year. You know who you are. <laughs> you know who you are. You watch the podcast. Anyway, so shall we move on to the big game? Because like yes. I said, we're going to, for those that just joined us, we're going to keep it a bit shorter than we normally do this week. We're not going to do the full hour because there is rugby on and everyone wants to get up with uh, with watching whatever's on. So, um Obviously, we'll, we'll start getting into the Fev game. So I've got a question for the people watching so you can get your comments in while we're talking uh, talking away about what we think. Fev, obviously, finished second, got a week off. Um, so a week off in the playoffs, help or hindrance? Do you want to be battle-hardened and ready to go? Or do, you, do you feel you can come unstuck or do you think that week's rest at the end of a long season can uh, can benefit you? What do you reckon, Mike? I, kinda, I think it kind of depends... Um what your form has been previous to it, really. Like, for us, we, we needed to play ourselves back into form. If we'd have had a week off, I think it have, it could have helped us, but I think we needed to play ourselves in, into form, really. Fev, I think it's come at the completely wrong time. I think I think they were flying and they, they needed to, to carry on. I think a week off might hinder them, to be honest. Uh, let's hope it does. Let, 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 let's really hope it does, because um, we, any chance that we can take about, about going over to Fev and winning, we need, we need to take, really. That's it. If you've got any voodoo dolls or anything like that, you know, get them out, get them sorted, and uh, see if we can uh, do them some damage in the, in the universe and all that sort of thing. So I don't know what happened to it. Can- Camera then, yeah. It's all it's a it's like voodoo and it's all oh, going voodoo it's a magic. Voodoo when we got inherited <laughs> by a ghost, all of a sudden, so. very much so. Um, but yeah, it's I, I'm just really really excited now. Yes, I, the, the more the more I'm thinking about it, and um, after what I've gone through the last couple of hours, I'm definitely very excited <laughs> about about that there. Um, but yes, it's. Uh, as I say, it's it's a big game, big night game on Sky. Well, obviously nights are drawing in. The floodlights will be on over at Fev. Sky cameras there. Semi final. <laughs> if if you can't get excited about that, what can you get excited about? Um, where I'll ask you a question. Anyone watching on 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 Facebook there? Where do you think the game's going to be won and lost? 
Is it oh, the forwards? Is it the half backs? Or where, with where the weather it? forecast the way it is, it's a it's going to be an attritional battle. And I just really think that the game breaker, if you want to call it that or whatever, is who wants it more. So the 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 thing that the area of the game that's going to be won on is desire, mm. pure and simple. Whoever makes the least amount of errors, who has the desire to look after the ball, play only when you're in the right areas of the field. Mm. You know, you could probably say it comes down to a bit of luck, but I don't agree with that. You know. Ref is the ref going to have a massive impact? Maybe not, but you know what on earth is going on? This camera has got a mind of its own at the moment. It it's, like, it's, it's, it's like it's uh, like <laughs> all right. Uh, let's have the sponsorship. <laughs> let's get a decent camera for the podcast we was watching. <laughs> get the sponsor on. But anyway, there. yeah, desire, drive, and um, and ca- camaraderie. Is, yeah, is be I was massive. literally I was about to say then. Um, we we were we were down at training um, a couple of hours ago. What I was really really impressed with, quite comfy, is this. The boys seem quite relaxed. They seem really relaxed about it. Like they they're, they're looking forward to Saturday. They they weren't just all tense and oh god and that sort of thing. They, they they seem really relaxed and looking forward to it. And that's that's what you want to see. Really, you want to see them there. Obviously, they know how important the game is. They've been working all year for it. But you don't want to go in there too tense. You want to be able to go on and do a job and. Maybe that, that that that'll be the time where, where come Saturday they will have the game heads on and, and I say that and that's what they did on on Saturday they they put sixteen points was it in first not tw- twenty two points in first half wasn't it um, but yeah I, I, I was really comforted by that and I, I'm I'm more more confident I think it was Jane who who, who said on there that. She feels even more confident as after Saturday there, uh, and so, and so do I. I, I, I. I'm feeling more important. By the time Saturday comes, I think we're going to win to hundred nil. Let's get into a bit more of these comments on here. Uh, Andrew Moran, uh, thank you for joining us again. Uh, Harris made a difference last week. All being well, he plays this week and hope he stays for next year. Uh, yeah, well, mm. we're not going to get into leaving and rumour signings but yeah. I won't, I won't, again I won't bet your house on it Tom. yeah uh, anyone who watched the, the, the Sky coverage back and heard James Ford uh, <coughs> analysing the game that's all I'll say <laughs> um, Anthony Hildred food banging at Fev Oh right! I thought I thought you actually meant banging us in the noise. All right. <laughs> yeah, if right. they don't, don't let us in with a drum, bring your baguettes yeah. and we'll bang them off back at stand. <laughs> bring your tins of beans to uh, to run on there. Um, the stewards were very welcoming that fev the other the week. Uh, they certainly weren't. They were the ones who kept coming up to back at stand and, and told us to stop really banging on there. Yeah? Just don't stand in the yellow line. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, so don't know where about to stand you were, Jane. But yeah, there was an old guy who actually absolutely loved it, it was absolutely fine but there was two women who, who just didn't want an atmosphere up there at all so let's get the drum there let's out number them let's let's go there 100%. Um, well we've got that whole stand all the buses as well that are leaving the share going straight from the share uh to the back of the stand uh, which will just be fax fans so anyone that's worried about this that and the other and you've no reason to be worried because it's, it's a lot better than it all. used to be but not you know you won't have to walk through the car park you, once the game's finished you'll be able to get straight on the bus and and out out from there. So yeah, no no bother whatsoever. Definitely, yep. Yeah. Uh, Anthony Eldred says, as long as we just play, have a laugh. If we lose, we lose. We get to semi final, uh, finish third. Some cash into the bank next season. We're set and crack on. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, I'm just excited for for not just Saturday's game, but also next year as well because it's going to be. Na- ho- well, I say hopefully. If Toulouse go up, which I'm ninety nine point nine 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 percent certain they will do. It's going to open up this league massively because there's no one who's going to be head and shoulders. Lee are going to come down. They like they they obviously going to be weaker than they were. Um, I, I just can't wait. Um, Peter Wood, um, I think facts will be more focused this time. Uh, a lot of the tries we conceded last time were even bizarre or unavoidable. Absolutely, I think they only scored one try themselves. If if, if that, uh, yeah, I said it's right at the top top of the show. It's the the scoreline flattered them and and. Yeah, but the thing is that Fev will throw so much more at us than than, than Whitehaven did. Um, but yeah, definitely. Um, winning set completion, Sean Yule said, yep, yeah, absolutely, you got to win those little battles. Um, obviously, we listened to Griggs' interview all year. And there. Um, and he got he goes on. Our post set completion flattered them last time. Yeah, we just we just got to be we've got to play like play. We just got to respect the ball, um, not throw it about for the sake of it, and just be like that. And yeah, Andrew Morris said Rain could level it up. Absolutely, definitely. Um, can we have a rumors tra- rumors transfer special after our last game? Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. We'll see. We'll see. To be fair, you won't have to wait too long for the announcements. I don't think. No. 
yeah. there's a lot there's a lot planned there's a lot going on on behind closed doors let's let's put it that way um, big things coming on to Eldra yeah, yeah, maybe absolutely. maybe we will see we 100%. will see on that one um, and shall we leave it there yeah that's with, it unless yeah. there's anything else anyone wants to get in like we say we're going to keep it short and sweet because everyone's either watching the rugby or wants to get chill for the night um, there's videos going out um, that you've seen of past meetings at Fev let's hope like I said there's no, no reason that no one should be saying oh I'm not going because we're going to get battered or whatever because one thing about Featherston, they have this nickname that keeps coming back to Bayern because <coughs> in the playoffs, they seem to struggle against a certain team that play in blue and white. I'm not sure who it is. Someone, yeah. someone watching will have to tell me. And, 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 and also as well, in games refereed by Robert Hicks as well. I, I, I can't remember the last time Robert Hicks refereed an IFAS v Featherston game. Maybe you lot can remind us what happened that day. I think it might have been in Warrington, maybe. I, I, I don't know. I'm just standing there. Yeah. Well, I've, I've had my Fev mates over there saying, uh, just don't burn down the stands this time. And I said, well, I would say I'll bring the petrol, but you can't find any anywhere. So, yeah. you know. <laughs> Very much, yeah. I'll, I'll bring the Jaipmans over to them when they choke anyway. Uh, but yeah, just tell everyone about the Tompkins transfer already. Sean Ewell, what, which Tompkins? We'll end up with Logan Tompkins. Careful what you <laughs> yeah. wish for, lad. If there's any transfer that we need to talk about, it's about Sonny Bill Williams. It's that, that is the one that is coming. I've said he's always coming to Halifax, and he will come. He will come. Uh, if he's one player that I would probably fanboy over more than John Bentley, to be honest with you. But yeah, um, we'll leave it on a very, very good comment, shall we? Um, oh, no, oh, no, Gary, Gary Bray, big, big things, Director. big, big, big things. Yes, uh, yes. That's from the, the board's mouth there, so you better believe it. Exactly, exactly. We'll, we'll we'll leave it on a good comment because it's always good to finish on a good note and not to really gloss our ego. But um, Anzildra says, I'll be honest, thank you too for both setting this up. You've cleared this up more or less, open the facts, fans, and the games up. Guys, thank you for what you're doing and what you have done. Well, thank you very much. Thank it's, you for watching. It's bro. much appreciated. It's by us fans, for you fans there. Uh, and that's exactly why we do it. And it's good to have an avenue to talk and discuss and all this sort of stuff there. But So thank you very much for, for doing that and joining us every single week. So, deadline to Tomorrow, 5 p.m., get booked on the coaches. Yes. Double decker, luxury coaches. Six pounds. Great way to travel. Six pound return. Kids go free, so take the whole family yep, along. Yeah, exactly. A tenner, a tenner you, get, you get a coach ticket there and back enough enough uh, change to get some food there or a drink or whatever. Which is banging, Easy. apparently. So. Easy there. So thank you very much for joining us. Um, see you on Saturday. He's been Rick Farrell. I've been Mike Egg. Uh, Eclipse and Energy and Delivery. Thank you very much for you guys. Um as sponsoring us as well as a team and there um as well uh, and as always as always up the facts panthers get in there come, come on, on grand final boys get it won <laughs>